the budget proposed by the executive board. The letter Rosalie Hayes got sounds boring, till you get to that one part, the part that lays out the increase in her monthly association dues. Um, it goes from 346 a month to 621.50. That's astonishing. That's a lot. Starting in April, her dues are going up nearly 300 bucks a month. I mean, when I opened this letter, it was just like, you could have knocked me over with a feather. It was a shock. The reason? The insurance has gone up over $100,000. The premium to insure the Sequoia Condominium Association in Arvada actually went up $140,000, more than double what it was last year. It's been so rough. Down the road in Wheat Ridge, Becky Blackett says the increase in Brookside townhomes policy beat that. How much did insurance go up this year? Over 220%. The president of the association board, she says she'll have to raise dues and ask for a one-time special assessment. Folks just didn't budget for that when they bought the places. It's an affordability crisis. People can't afford this. Molly Foley-Healy is an HOA attorney. In the last 17 years in Colorado, I can say without hesitation, this is the biggest crisis to hit HOA. She says condo associations are stuck as insurance carriers get out of the HOA business. It's not only difficult to get policies, but what's more difficult is to get an affordable property insurance policy for the components of the HOA. Anytime you have fewer insurance companies, there's less competition. That also is going to drive prices and availability. Carol so Walker represents insurance companies and says it's a complex issue fueled by wildfire risk, loss from hail claims, and other liability risks that come with an HOA. And these policies haven't been profitable. And we've seen that multi peril commercial, which is HOA insurance, at a 23% loss. Insurance companies are now working with state lawmakers to try to figure out how to solve this problem through a study. It's a real problem and I don't know how to solve it. But that will take time. I'm just not sure what to do because like I said, we have to have an insurance policy. All while homeowners pay the bill and make some tough choices. I'm not sure whether I can afford to stay in Colorado is what it comes down to. Colorado is pricing a lot of people out. A bill just passed out a committee in the state house to study the market and then report back on January 1st, 2026. Yikes. That is a while away. I want to hear how much your dues are going up, by the way. Steve on your side at 9news.com. It's a complex issue, and everybody involved says you need to study it. Now, Molly, uh, the attorney there, says maybe not take until 2026. Like, you got to do something relatively quickly to try to get these rates down. But they're afraid of making an adjustment that might impact the market in a different way that'll really hurt. You know, the always popular HOA taking another hit here, but yeah. they're really in between. You know, and it, it's interesting because you have homeowners who are so upset at their HOA board, right? Because they think the HOA board is, rise, is, is responsible for this cost. You talk to the folks on the board and they say, we have no choice. Yeah. We're going out to the market to try to find an insurance policy and we can't find anything that isn't 200% or 200 more than what the previous year. I was. think long term it's going to impact home sales too because it is a starter house for many people. And the first thing you're going to ask is, what's the HOA fee? How much are the dues? And it's like, wait, I can't do this. Yeah, and it, so, it's, that's going to impact a lot of property values and just affordability for folks in general. Yeah. The cost of living indoors yep. is going through the roof. Stay on it. Thank you. Appreciate Thank you. it, Steve.